In this video, we'll look at working with sampling distributions using spreadsheet software. Consider the following example from the book, problem 7.1. An unknown distribution has a mean of 45 and a standard deviation of 8. When we go to the sampling distribution of the mean, we need to make sure the sample size is 30 or the original population is normally distributed. Since our distribution is unknown from the original population, we do need the sample size to be 30 or larger. Notice that we are told the sample size is 30. So our sampling distribution for the mean will be normal. That means we can use normal probabilities to calculate what will happen with the sample mean. The mean of the sampling distribution will always be the same as the mean from the population. The standard deviation, however, will not. The standard deviation for the sampling distribution will be the standard deviation from the population divided by the square root of the sample size. So that's the adjustment you need to make. Then, if you want to find the probability, say x bar, probably the sample mean is between 42 and 50, we use the norm dist command and look at 50 with that mean, that standard deviation, and this will find the area to the left of 50, and then we want to subtract the area to the left of 42. This will find the probability that the sample mean is between those two values. And there it is. So all you really need to do is adjust your standard deviation by dividing by the square root of the sample size. Then use probabilities associated with the normal distribution like you did in the previous chapter.